So just so we've got a uh, multi-touch table that can pick up multiple touches, whereas traditional table can only a um, traditional touch screen can only detect one touch. This can have uh, several touches. It can obviously have several users at once using the table. Uh, this is just a kind of pretty smoke program. So how many fingers can you detect at once? Uh, in theory, as many as you want. I think this one has a cutoff of eight uh, for processing reasons, because um, the more fingers uh, kind of puts more CPU strain on the computer. So what kind of technology is this? Uh, it's very simple, really. There's a uh, acrylic screen here, acrylic, uh, like about 10 millimeters thick. And down this side, there's a bank of infrared LEDs that shines infrared lights into the acrylic and it's internally reflected. Um, and when you touch on the screen, it breaks that internal reflection. And what happens is a webcam underneath, if you want to come around, you can have a look. Underneath, there's a webcam. In the dark. Yeah. <laughs> web, you probably can't see it. Well, there's a webcam and a projector, basically. Uh, so where you touch on the screen, it breaks the internal reflection and your finger basically shows up as a bright like blob of IR light. And that is used by the software kind of to pinpoint your position when you're touching on the screen and to calibrate it and to figure out, you know, what blob's touching where and that kind so of So how expensive is this? Uh, it's relatively cheap. I mean most excluding obviously the projector and the computer, I mean you need probably at least a two gigahertz machine. Uh, ideally more like three. Um, so, but basically the material cost of wood, uh, acrylic is quite expensive, that was about 30, 30 pounds for a piece that was a 27 inches by 21. Uh, you need a good quality webcam, so about 60, 70 pounds for that. Um, so, you know, you could probably build one for 100 quid, um, or maybe, you know, 200 quid for, if right. you can do it all up nice and get all the nice kind of materials. Can you show us any more applications? Yes. Um, this is. Let's just quit this. Uh, all right. There may be there may be a seamless jump to this other application. <laughs> yeah. in so, what we've got here is a photo app. Uh, which kind of shows off some of the more touch usability. So obviously you can just kind of scroll around the space, um, but you can uh, do, resize, use, using multiple touch, you can resize uh, or kind of rotate the images, position them, kind of hold on to one, drag the table. Um, obviously you can have more than one user at once using this. Um, no, I'm not sure that's very seamless. <laughs> oh, you can be another user. Another user has entered the room. There might be one of the bugs though. <laughs> Big bugs or small bugs? They're small bugs, but sometimes it thinks you're holding a manipulating photo, photo I am. But otherwise it's kind of, it works pretty well really. Push quite hard. We'll see about that. I need your photo. Great. Is that what you want to say? Uh, yeah, so I mean obviously there's going to be uh, you can probably think of your own kind of ap applications, especially for kind of education um, and kind of sort of fixed applications that this kind of technology would be quite useful. And that's kind of my multi-touch table, really. Excellent, thank you. No problem.